Given that the President's policies have moved us closer toward the European model, I suppose we shouldn't be surprised that his class-based rhetoric has followed suit. We shouldn't be surprised, but we have every right to be disappointed. Instead of appealing to the hope and optimism that were the hallmarks to his first campaign, he has launched his second campaign by preying on the emotions of fear, envy, and resentment. This has the potential to be just as damaging as his misguided policies. Sowing social unrest and class resentment makes America weaker, not stronger. Pitting one group against another only distracts us from the true sources of inequity in this country. Corporate welfare that enriches the powerful and empty promises that betray the powerless. Ironically, equality of outcome is a source of inequality one that is based on political influence and bureaucratic favoritism. That's the real class warfare that threatens us, a class of bureaucrats and connected crony capitalists trying to rise the, above the rest of us. Call the shots, rig the rules, and preserve their place atop society. And their gains do come at the expense of working Americans against entrepreneurs and that small businesswoman who has the gall to take on the corporate chieftain.